so hi guys welcome back to gk code labs uh, this is the next session in spark streaming in my last session i have told what is structured streaming and when you should use them and what are the different modes that you can take as an output complete mode append mode update mode so if you have not seen that video please uh, find that in i button in my previous video i have uh, already shown you a pre-built example that spark library provides us if you want you can try that out i will in this video i will make a small example demo uh, to stream the files you can take it as a log files that you have to read inside a folder suppose in case you have a folder in hdfs or any of your file system and that folder uh, keeps on getting more and more files and you have to stream that data so such kind of use case we are going to see today so just for the demo i have created a log file that has basically the timestamp when the log entry was made followed by the message that particular log line has to say so similar kind of uh, generated logs we have so what if we have to stream this data this is in uh, suppose logs folder currently this has only one file suppose there are more and more files getting generated inside this logs directory and we have a requirement to stream that data so this is a small use case that i am going to demo today so jump cut to boilerplate code uh, just to save the time this is nothing new we have created a spark session as i have been creating in my last around 10 videos so same way uh, we can use this uh, structured streaming using the spark session only so you have to create a spark session your name and the basic parameters for this case i have set the log level to only error because as the data is streaming we don't want the uh, streaming logs as spark uh, used to generate a lot of logs in the output so i have set it to error in case we get an error so how do we start this first of all you have to see what is the data actually because we have to see the structure of that data because this is structured streaming so before uh, handling or reading the data we have to define the structure of that data so let's see closely what is the file so basically i can see here there can be two columns one can be the time or the timestamp and one can be a string if you have some other kind of data you have to be sure that uh, you modify your schema according to your data so here first step will be creating a schema for the data that you are expecting so we can use either struct type field or uh, we can use the case classes in this case let me use the struct type schema so let me create a schema that will be a struct type let me give all my fields in a list so what struct type expects in case you don't know it expects a list of struct fields so our first column can be a date as you can see here which can be of uh, obviously timestamp type because you can see here uh, it is a date followed by the time so we can mention timestamp timestamp type and the second uh, value can be the message that can be a string let me duplicate it this can be message this can be a string type sorry i think it is not populating the correct class i don't want it from avro string type i need the sql types so this is fine this can be our schema also while struct type if in case you are not sure uh, that what it might interpret uh, just make sure you give nullable as true because in such case even if the value is null you will get the output now we have our schema now what we have to do simply we have to read the directory log inside which we have all our files make sure same way as we were using uh, spark dot read in case of you can see here we are we have two options read read was uh, for uh, reading the static data frames but in case we have a structured streaming we can use the read stream method so same way as we were using read spark dot read here we have to use spark dot read stream now same way options we can give first option can be the delimiter which in our case you can see it as a pipe so this will be pipe what else option we have we have to define the schema 
so dot schema we can define you can see steps are almost same apart from the read stream function these are exactly same as we are reading a static data frame so schema will be this uh, schema variable what else now we can give the location of the file dots we can read it as a csv because we have already defined the delimiter so there is no issue and in path we can copy the path so this is the path uh, i don't want to read only one file i don't want to read the entire directory so that should be fine so to write simple sql like queries we can register it as a view this is again same as we did it on static data frame so what we can do we can assign it to some stream uh, df how to define a view on this we can use stream df dot create or replace temp view i have already told you the differences between uh, temp view and global temp view if you want to see that video you can find it in i button and let us name this streaming data frame now we have our view over our streaming data as of now we have only one file but let's see to view this as in case of our data frame what we were doing we were doing df dot show whatever data frame name was there dot show or collect or any kind of uh, static data but for this as in place of spark dot read we used the read stream in same way dot in place of static data dot show we have to use dot write stream let's see how we can use that so to collect this streaming data what we have to do first let us put any query uh, so our out df will be uh, we can put any uh, sql like query in over this view sdf spark dot sql and the query select star from sdf so this will return a data frame but again this will be a streaming data frame so to collect that we can use out df dot write stream and here you have to mention few important parameters first is the format where in which format you want the output as of now i want the output in my console so for format i can mention console i'll tell you what other options are there you can write it to file or something but as of now i want it to be printed on my console and then the output mode as i told you there are three output modes in my previous video that is complete append or update so output mode let me use append i'll tell you why i am not using the complete or uh, update mode update also you can use but till the time there is no aggregation in your query you cannot use the complete mode because first of all it is not required because in complete mode you want the older output only if there is some change and you want some uh, changed aggregated value that you are expecting so there is no aggregation you cannot use the complete mode i'll come to what errors and uh, what you can get in my coming videos but uh, as of now let me uh, show you what we get in append mode so after all this you can do start and await termination you can give the timeout also but let us uh, leave it as it is as of now so that's it uh, let us try to run this and see what we get i'm sorry i was running some other uh, class let me run this so you can see uh, it has read the data from the file 1 that is that was this file uh, so particular thing we are getting in a data frame but as you can see the program is not terminated yet it is expecting uh, more data but there is no other file so that is the reason Uh, this has stopped here but it is waiting uh, for next file to come so let us try to put more files into this uh, let me open this directory in explorer so this is my file inside my projects directory this is the log file that we have placed so on parallel to that uh, let me open another directory where i have uh, placed multiple such log files so this is another directory where i have made such kind of samples so one i have already placed so other files also have similar kind of uh, logs so this is the directory that we are streaming from if i put another file into this so you can see here uh, the 
data got updated and we are using the append mode so whatever uh, file whatever new uh, data was there in file 2 that got in the batch 2 so this batch means uh, in this case whenever new file comes the streaming engine considers it as a next batch so in batch 1 there was one file batch 0 starting from 0 and in batch 1 there was a second file but it is still uh, waiting so same way let me try to put another file so if i put file 3 here you can see the again the new logs have come this was uh, second batch this was first batch with three lines this was new file new line this was the second batch and this was the uh, another third batch so similar way as and when the new files come uh, you can see uh, you will get the streaming output from that directory so if this kind of simple use case you have you can go through the same or in such cases you can use the spark streaming defining your uh, own schema and your own logic here i have just put the select star from the view so this was a simple application uh, in my next video i'll come to how you can use the aggregations over the streaming data so please stick to this uh, spark streaming module in our apache spark series thank you guys see you later